हेलो इंजीनियर्स वेलकम टू सिविल निर्माण वी आर बैक विथ अनदर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो ऑन मल्टी नेशनल कंपनीज फॉर स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर्स टिल नाउ इन द प्रीवियस टू सेशंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग हाउ स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियरिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन एवरी सेक्टर इन द वर्ल्ड दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन द मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी एज वेल सो इफ यू आर here for the first time in this session then i recommend you to watch our first two sessions and for that links are provided in the description box so we will start here with the next phase in which we will discuss about more companies that are related with the epc contract which are epc contractors and working in the oil and gas and energy sector so let's get started so till now we have discussed nine companies right now let's move on to the next one so the next one is the samsung engineering now samsung engineering company is a korean construction and project management company which is working at global level in more than 70 countries it is included in the cosby 200 now basically cosp is the korea composite stock price index so samsung engineering is in the first 200 stock index so you can imagine how largely the company is expanded over the world now see earlier korea engineering was founded in 1970 by the korean government as the country's first engineering company and later on it was acquired by the samsung group in 1978 you can check out their website for the more information so samsung engineering is working in the several sectors like oil and gas processing refineries petrochemicals industrial environmental bio and green solutions so these are the various sectors where samsung engineering is providing its service so it provides full range of engineering services including feasibility studies design procurement construction and commissioning right if we talk about the offices majorly in india they have offices in noida up and new delhi you can check out their website for more information now one important point i just want to give you is as this company is involved with with this so many category of oil and gas refinery and energy solution industries the same companies also require mechanical or chemical discipline as well now next one now see next one is the gs engineering now gs engineering and construction corporation is also one of the korean based global epc contractor having wide range of experience in refineries gas and petrochemical plants providing design and construction services it provides solutions for providing epc and commissioning of the thermal and combined cycle power plants projects now if we talk about the country region they are working in the several countries like uae spain uk poland italy saudi arabia bahrain vietnam india indonesia as well they are basically headquartered in seoul south korea and if we talk about the indian region in india they have office in the mumbai region it has been engaged in the fields of architectural civil engineering building materials housing plant environment and power plant across the globe and it operates through civil works architectural construction and housing plant construction power hotel and other segments as well basically they are certified grade a excellent for esg by the korea corporate governance services so you can imagine how large the company is next one sk eco plant now sk eco plant is also a korean construction company founded and established in 1977 with previous name of songyong construction which is headquartered in guang seoul it is also one of the asia's leading environmental company basically they are in they are involved in the industries like oil and gas petrochemicals power environmental protection industrial housing services and epc services as well 
SK Eco Plant is leading the way in solving urgent environmental problem with its competence and innovative green technologies built up from business development. Also they are involved with the PC projects and they are creating new values through the resources and recycling starting beyond the effective sewage, wastewater and waste phase stage management. They are actively engaged in the ESG activities, particularly effective pollutant control management. Now, if we talk about the region part, they are actively operating in America, Asia and Europe region. And in India, they have office in Gurugram. I have specified the website. You can check out more details about this particular firm at skecoplant.com. Next one, TR Engineering Consultancy. Technicus Rionidas, a Spanish company and it is one of the world's foremost engineering, procurement and construction companies with a core business focused on engineering for the world's hydrocarbon industries and first began to operate in 1960. Basically, TR Engineering Consultancy is a member of Technicus Rionidas group with a core business focused on feasibility studies, front-end and detail engineering for upstream and downstream oil and gas and the energy industries. So basically they are working in the sectors of oil and gas, power generation and transmission. They are providing services like process engineering, piping engineering, pipeline, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, instrumentation engineering, electrical and technical safety with project management consultancy. If we talk about the operating regions, you can check out the list over here which I have specified. They are working in the regions like America, Africa, Europe and Asia with the several country specifications. This particular company is headquartered in Oman. Next, we have Saipan. Now if we talk about the Saipan, as you can observe over here, I have specified all the sectors in which they are working. They are working in the renewables decommissioning infrastructures onshore and offshore facilities. They are leaders in the remote area and deep water activities and they take care of all the phases in life cycle of a project from engineering to maintenance from life of field to decommissioning. If we talk about the onshore part, they are specialized in the construction of hydrocarbon and fertilizer production and treatment plants. Their expertise is in the gas monetization segment allow them to manage projects in, in the natural gas liquefaction sector and they are taking care of all the phases in project from engineering to maintenance right to the decommissioning of the plants. So here is a brief history about the Saipam. So basically Saipam is a Italian multinational oil field service company and one of the largest in the world. Until 2016 it was a subsidiary of Italian oil and gas super major ENI which retains approximately 30% of the Saipan share. They are operating in more than 70 countries. If I talk about this specifically about India, they are operating from Mumbai and Chennai as well. Saipan was pioneer in offshore drilling and pipelines construction in Europe. They are operating in over more than 50 plus countries. I have specified the regions over here. Next is Magdemort. Now, Magdemort International is a global provider of engineering and construction solution to the energy industry. They are operating in over 54 countries and it has more than 40,000 employees as well as a diversified fleet of specialty marine construction vessel and fabrication facilities around the world. It is headquartered in the energy corridor area of Hudson, Texas. They are working in the following industries. Industries like engineering, fabrication services, onshore construction, marine construction vessel, refining, energy transition, upstream, LNG, water and wastewater. Here I have specified the country region you can check out. They are working in the North America, Central and South America, Europe, Africa, Asia and Middle East region. And if we talk about the India part, they have branches in Mumbai, Pune, Chennai and Gurgram. Also, Magdemart is one of the largest provider in the storage facility. CBNI, atmospheric storage, high pressure storage, low temperature and cryogenic storage they are providing. Now let's first understand what is CBNI. Now basically CBNI is the world's leading designer and builder of the storage facilities tanks and terminals 
with more than 60,000 structures completed throughout the 130 years history. They have the global expertise and strategically located operations to provide customers world-class storage solutions for even in the most complex energy infrastructures projects, bulk liquid storage terminals as well. They are providing services and facilities for the low temperature and cryogenic storage facilities including small scale LNG as well. So basically they are leading designer and builder of the storage facilities, tanks and terminals water and wastewater facilities you can check out their website for more information now after mcdermott we have what mcdonald now you see these two are different companies right but this pronounced similar so don't get confused mcdermott and now next one is the mott mcdonald now mott mcdonald group is in management engineering and development consultancy headquartered in the United Kingdom which is operating in more than 150 countries. It is a global engineering management and development consultancy headquartered in the United Kingdom. Founded in 1902, the company has grown into a leading firm providing multidisciplinary engineering and consultancy service across various sectors. Now if I talk about the sectors you can check out the sectors over here. So, Mott McDonald's expertise spans a wide range of disciplines including civil and structural engineering, transportation planning and engineering, environmental and social assessments, water and wastewater management, energy consulting, project management and digital services. The company is known for its innovative and substantial solutions incorporating cutting-edge technologies and best practices to deliver projects that are environmentally responsible economical viable and socially inclusive here i have highlighted all the sectors in which mott mcdonald is working largely so you can check out their website for more information if we talk about the region part in india they have offices in mumbai kolkata and ahmedabad bangalore prayagraj next Next we have is NPCC. Now let's just first understand what is NPCC. National Petroleum Construction Company. Now NPCC was established in 1973 and it is world class engineering procurement and construction company that provides total EPC solutions to both onshore and offshore oil and gas sector. It provides engineering, procurement, project management, fabrication installation and commissioning services to the project owners and operations. Now see, NPCC is headquartered in the Abu Dhabi and operates in Arabian Gulf, South Asia, Southeast Asia and has future plans to expand its operation to Africa and Caspian region as well. Also, the company has comprehensive in-house capability including engineering, fabrication, marine fleet and other specialized service which enables it to deliver turnkey solutions for the oil and gas industry. Now if we talk about the region part where they operate, there are three engineering centers in Abu Dhabi, Mumbai and Hyderabad. I have highlighted all the sectors over here. You can check this out. For more information you can check out their website www.npcc.ae Next, we have Burns and McDonald. Now, one special thing about this particular company is this particular company is 100% owned by its employee. It's an American architectural and engineering company based in Kansas City, Missouri and is owned 100% by its employee. Its status as employee's own is considered as a factor in producing higher workforce efficiency. The employee stock ownership plan owns 98% of the Burns and McDonald while management accounts for the remaining 2% only. If we talk about the services part, they are operating in the various sectors like aviation, chemical and oil and gas, commercial re retail, construction and environmental sector. Also they are working in the sectors like power, manufacturing and industry, transportation, 
water and telecommunication sectors. They provide a wide range of engineering services including electrical, mechanical, civil, structural, environmental and more. They have expertise in various industries including aviation, water, power, oil and gas, transportation and telecommunications. Also, they offer architectural services for a diverse range of projects such as commercial, buildings, industrial facilities, government facilities and more. In the construction part, they provide construction management and construction services for projects in various industries including energy, aviation, water and more. In the environmental sector, they offer environmental consulting and management, service, management services including environmental assessment, permitting, compliance, remediation and sustainability solutions. You can check out their website for more information. Now Burns and McDonald's operates in the following country regions. You can check this out. In India, they have offices in Mumbai. Next one, L&T Chioda or LTC. It's an international reputed design and engineering consultancy organization formed by Larson and Tubro Limited, India's premier engineering, manufacturing and construction company. And Chiora Corporation, Japan, a world-renewed energy company with decades of experience in hydrocarbon and related fields. Basically, LTC was established in 1994 and it is based out of Vadodara, Gujarat in India. Now, over the years, LTC has grown to become an engineering powerhouse, having executed several world-class refineries, petrochemicals and oil and gas complexes, while establishing its footprint in many countries across the globe. Basically, they are providing services in the hydrocarbon sector, including conceptual and feasibility studies, front-end engineering, detail engineering, procurement, construction and commissioning. They also provide specialized services such as project management, safety and quality assurance, environmental management and training. In India, they have offices at Vadodara, Chennai, Mumbai, Faridabad, Pune, Hyderabad and many other locations. And also, all of you are also aware with the various sectors in which currently LNT has grown. These are all the sectors which I have listed which are related with the LNT segment. You can check out their website for more information. So I hope this video helps you out and many other engineers who want to build their career in structural engineering. So share this video to all the engineers who are willing to build their career in the structural engineering. And from this list you can imagine how structural engineering is creating its impact at world-class level in the different sectors. So keep sharing, keep learning. We will bring you more information about all the different companies for the various sectors in the further videos. Don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you.